Hello IT Pros and welcome back to my IT workshop. So in this video I'm going to show you how to update an HP computer BIOS using a USB flash drive. So for that end I'm going to use this HP ProBook 4540S which is a laptop but it also works on most of the Dell models whether it is another laptop or a desktop computer. We are not going to boot the operating system which is Windows or it could be Linux as well. Okay, but we are going to use another computer, in this case my desktop computer. But everything I'm going to show you here, you can do it from the laptop ProBook 4540S as well. So I'm going to create a bootable USB uh, flash drive, I'm going to load the BIOS update, and after I have done that, I'm going to disconnect it and connect it to the ProBook 4540S. And from there, we are going to update the BIOS version. So without further ado, let's start. Okay guys, but before I wanted to show you something that we need, some information that we need from the BIOS itself. So I am in front of the computer, I'm going to turn it on and I'm going to start pressing, this is an HP laptop, escape or F10. Any combination of keys might work in most laptops. So in my case, I'm going to start pressing F, I mean escape, and we're going to see this menu. So F10 is to access the BIOS. We can also find this information if we press F1. But for this, in this video, I'm going to press F10. 10 for the BIOS. So we are going to type the password, it's always useful to have a password on the BIOS and I'm going to click system information. I'm going to press enter and you can see there's a manufacturer, the Hewlett Packard, the product number, a name and the serial number. We need the serial number, you write it down or take a picture and the other thing that we need is system BIOS version. In this case is 68IRR version F31. So F31 is the BIOS version. We are going to see if we find a newer version for this HP laptop. But the number 8, I mean 68IRR, we need that and write it down. I'm going to show you another way to find this number, but this is one way to do it. Okay, so we don't need anything else to do here. I'm going to just click escape and we are going to continue on the computer. Okay guys, here we are on my desktop computer and we are going to do most of the job, most of the work here. So you can see the icons are a little bigger because I have changed the resolution so you can see better what I do. So before going any further, I want to advise you to watch this video I made it a few months ago, which is interrupting the BIOS update process on a computer. So this shows you what happens when a BIOS update goes wrong. It can really render your computer unusable. So I advise you to watch it. It's very important before you do any BIOS update because it's really, really important that you do it correctly. Okay, so I'm going to leave the link in the description below and we're going to continue with the video. So now we need a USB. It's already connected. My name, the mine is Carrot. <laughs> I just named it that way. And it's 16 gigabytes. It doesn't have to be 16, can be two, can be four, can be 32, doesn't make a difference. In this case, this one is empty. I've, in a few moments, it's going to be filled with some default uh, folders when we create the bootable USB. But that's what we have right now. By the way, if this doesn't work at, at the beginning, you, the USB brand you are using might be incompatible. So you might use another USB. Okay, that has happened to me in the past. So next we need to go to hp.com. Again, I'm going to leave the link in the description below. So this is how it looks depending when you are going to this place. And you go to support and then software and drivers. So here are listed, no, uh, but I forgot something. <laughs> I'm going to open a CMD, I forgot to show you something. Well, so as you can see, this is a CMD or can be a PowerShell as well. And you are going to type this command, WMIC BIOS get serial number and you press enter. So this is going to give you uh, on a Dell, HP, any other brand, the serial number. So this is another way to check your serial number. Why is not giving me anything in my case? Because this computer I have built it myself. It's not HP, it's not Dell, it's not anything. So it's not going to show me anything. So this is the another way to find your serial number. Another is on the BIOS itself that I have shown you a few seconds ago. And the other is on the on your case, on the laptop case, okay? So then going back, we need, we are going to click on laptop and here's where you have to copy and paste the serial number. Now you have three ways to find it. So after you copy paste it, you press enter and then you're going to be sent to this website, HP ProBook 4540S. And here are all the uh, drivers for this model. So right now we need the BIOS. I'm going to click on BIOS and it says F68. So if you remember a few seconds ago, the version for the current version for the laptop is F31 or 32. 
So this one is 9 megabytes and came out a few weeks ago actually, it's May 14, 2019. I'm recording this video in May 23rd, so kudos to HP to, because of supporting a 7 years old laptop. So you download it, I, I already have it as you have seen here, as you see here, and I have already created a folder, it's called HP Update, you can name it anything you want, but we need it, it's empty as you can see it, we are going to need it in a few seconds. I'm just going to click on the software, on the update itself, and it's going to tell us all the documentation and all that. And here is where we can see this number that we have seen on the BIOS itself, 68IRR. So this is another way to find this number. This number is going to be different depending on the model you have, it's not going to be the same. So we go next, I accept everything as always, and I'm not going to install it by default in that location. I'm going to choose my HP update folder. Okay, now this folder is going to be full or with things, <laughs> with folders and all that you can see it here. I don't need it right now, but we're going to come back in a few seconds. I'm waiting for the software to open. It takes a few seconds and you can see here what's going to happen. You click next and what, what do you want to do? Update the BIOS on this computer or, cre or create a USB bootable flash drive to update it on another computer. Yes, that's what I want. And it's detecting my USB, the car rod one. <laughs> <laughs> we click next. So this process takes less than a minute, it's really quick, and all distractions, which are not really clear, it's not 100% true. So I'm going to open my uh, USB, which now has files on it, and you can see Hewlett Packard, it has these two, I go, I'm going to go to that folder, which is BIOS, and then I go to New. So you see these two files, that bin and that seek. These two files had to be you need to rename them, this is really important, you have to rename them by the name we have seen two times now, 68IRR, and you have to do the same for the other as well. So you're going to have, so far, two files, 68IRR.bin and that .sick, all right? So you have that, and then, uh, this is my USB again, it's going to be on the right, and my HP update is going to be on the left. So from here, you, we, you see a lot of files there on the left, and we, we have to click on ROM. So this is a compressed file, and I'm opening, and I, I'm going to use 7-zip to open it, you can also use WinRAR, and we need to drag and drop two files from here, from here to the USB. We need the ROM.bin, so you just drag and drop it, and the other we need is fbios.seq or efibios.seq so you just drag and drop it so in total you are going to have four files on your USB two with the num with the name 68irr.bin.seq and rom.seq and fbios.seq okay so that's very important you need those, and there is uh, with with that you are ninety nine percent done. Okay, but there is something else I want to mention. I don't need it. I didn't do it for this video. I never needed so far in all the updates for HP, but I'm just going to to mention it. Okay, uh, I'm going to go back, and we go to BIOS update, and you see I believe there are eleven files. And on the left, we go to BIOS as well, and we have the same file. If this process doesn't work and it's not due to your USB brand, you have to copy these files from the left to the right, drag and drop them, and replace them. So that's all you would have to do. In this case, as I mentioned three times now, I'm not going to do it. I didn't need it, okay? But I'm just letting you know that my that what my unit. Okay, I don't have anything anything else to do here. I'm going to disconnect this USB and I'm going to connect it to the uh, HP laptop and I'm going to continue recording on my cell phone. Okay guys, here we are again in front of the laptop. So I didn't show you around the last time. So this is an HP, there is a model, this is the keyboard and all that and allow me a few seconds so I can adjust my camera. Now I'm going to start the computer and I'm going to start, well, I forgot, this is the USB I have created, the brand is PNY, and I'm going to connect it to the laptop and I'm going to turn it on. So right away I'm going to start pressing escape and you have, and here we are in the menu. Now I'm going to select F, I'm going to select F10 and then I'm going to press enter. So we're going to have access to the BIOS. I'm going to put my password 
and here you can see you can use the mouse of course you're going to click on update BIOS version so just just click on it it's going to tell you what's going to happen which honestly is not clear at all <laughs> you can read it I read it many times but it's not clear so that's why I try to explain the better I the better I can all the pro the better I can what I'm talking about the best I could all the process to update this BIOS so I'm just going to click accept and then that's all you have to do it's, it's checked you just click on exit it's going to tell to tell you you want to save it yes of course and the computer is going to restart you don't have to press anything right now nothing at all and the process is going to continue by itself so as you can see here it says an important system BIOS update is available do not turn down or remove external power from your computer during this process for more information blah 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 so uh, you can well that's why we are here so the time is running out so it's going to start <laughs> and enter BIOS password I'm going to do it you might not have a BIOS password but in my case I always have it and the process is starting the video is sped up so you don't have to wait all the real time but it took less than five minutes around 4 15 or something like that so I just want to show you how it looks all the process again this took like four minutes and a half or something like that it's not very long so you see all the process that is going on and after that it's just going to tell you that the system BIOS update is complete upon restarting the screen might, might be blank for a few minutes which is not true in my case the, the LED light might flash so I'm just going to wait for it to restart and here is where you where I had to press uh, escape again, <laughs> but I missed the time frame, so I just restarted the computer. As you have seen, it's Windows 10, and the computer is restarting, and I'm going to press escape, and now we don't need to go to the BIOS. We can press F1 and then enter. So here we can see that the manufacturer is Hewlett Packard, product name HP ProBook 4540S, and the system BIOS version is F68, which means the update has been successful okay so as you have seen here the process to update a uh, HP uh, BIOS on a laptop it's a little more difficult than that if you want to see how to do it on a Dell computer you can click on the top right of this screen so that's all I wanted to show you for this video guys uh, if you if you like this video please like and subscribe if you have if you have any other comment or question leave it in the comment section below and if this is your first time in this channel please look around maybe you're going to find a video that is useful to you so thank you very much again and I'll see you in the next video